Relatives of one of the cameo victims say today's indictment confirms what they believed all along, that O'Brien Spikes was simply caught in the crossfire and did not create it. Local 12's Jeff Hirsch tells us more about Spikes and about the other person who died as well. Two people died from the cameo gunfire. One, DeAndre Davis, police say, was one of the shooters. Prosecutor Joe Dieter says Davis would have been indicted if he had survived, indicted for the murder of 27-year-old O'Brien Spikes, a Cameo customer. Dieter says there is no indication that Spikes fired a gun or was specifically targeted in the dispute, which led to crossfire in the crowded night spot. But we don't have any evidence of that. It, this, you know, people say this was a mass shooting. It was a shootout, okay? This was not... This wasn't like somebody going into school and try to create a body count. These were guys shooting at each other, and um, uh, many innocent people were in between the two. O'Brien Spikes was apparently among those innocent bystanders. A spokesperson for the Spikes family, Bishop Darren Miller of the Word of Life Christian Fellowship in Covington, says Spikes relatives figured all along that Spikes was neither a target nor a shooter. Well, I think the family knew that from the beginning because they knew what kind of son he was, what kind of brother, what kind of father he was. So they knew that there's no way he could have had something to do with this. So to hear that, you know, he was an innocent bystander, that's something they already do. Bishop Miller says the family appreciates Prosecutor Joe Dieters and the police confirming that Spikes was not the bad guy in all of this. Wrong place, wrong time. Yeah, it can happen to anybody. You know, one the, the biggest thing is we need to get guns off the street. Uh, we got people who have guns who don't know how to shoot guns. They've never been trained on how to shoot a gun, yet they have them. And who's, who suffers? The innocent bystander. Like O'Brien Spikes. Jeff Hirsch, Local 12 News. Funeral services for O'Brien Spikes will be Saturday morning at the Inspirational Baptist Church in Forest Park.